Bottom Swim to another video review. And today we're going to be taking a look at my very first Transformers Dark of the Moon figure, Deluxe Class Starscream. Now I figured my very first Transformer review was the Autobot known as Ironhide, and my very first Revenge of the Fallen review was the Autobot known as Sideswipe. So I figured I'd start off with the Dark of the Moon with the Decepticon, and a very nice Decepticon at that. I'm actually really, really impressed with the overall look of this vehicle. The figure in general is really well done and very nicely echoes a lot of the good things that they did with the Leader Class version of this guy. Very nice. You can see, obviously, he's got the tattoos and everything that he had from the Revenge of the Fallen movie. Nice Decepticon logo hidden kind of amongst all the other black bits. Flip around here on the bottom. And you can see one of the actual problems that I do kind of have with the figure is I don't really like the, the mech tech weapons that these new figures are using. Some of them are okay, but some of them are just kind of big, gaudy weapons that really don't have a place and just really make it look too cluttered with junk they do detach but when, when you leave them like this they kind of are like little machine guns i suppose you could say so you can have machine guns and i guess it kind of hides it when you look at it from the top from the bottom you can actually see that there's a lot of crap going on uh you can rotate you know this out and it becomes this blade of death or whatever you know but it doesn't lock into place it will eventually but uh not now you can rotate them. First, you got to unpeg them, and you can rotate them, and uh, you can plug these bits in this way, where you can have the actual blades pointing forward. But I, I just find that that even looks even more silly like that. I mean, it, it, it just it doesn't work for me. I, I'm not a big fan of it. But you can remove them, just held on there by little tiny pegs and holes, and you can set those off to the side. And oops. And, uh, you know, when you get it like that, it's a much nicer representation of the F-22 Raptor. Uh, th there is still some kibble here on the bottom. It doesn't do as quite a good job as the leader does in hiding it. But for a deluxe figure, very impressive. Very impressive indeed. Now, in terms of a size comparison, you can see that he is actually smaller than the standard classic Seeker mold. And that's really kind of unfortunate because, I mean, they, they did a lot of really good things with this Starscream figure. But just because he's so much smaller, uh, it, it really kind of takes away from the overall nice factor, I suppose. Uh, I don't even know if that's a term. Nice factor? He's just pretty small. But his transformation is actually really simple and it's actually pretty fun first what you want to do come around here and you put the landing gear away you can fold both of these up by the way so that you can have him without his landing gear take this section just kind of fold that down and then this tabs in and that can fold back just like so and just kind of get that out of the way come around here to the side panels and then these little wings here actually slot up I don't know if you could see that but they actually just kind of lift kind of give them a little wiggle and they just slide upwards like so Come around to the feet, rotate these little bits out, fold these just like so. You can position these around, pull out the little feet, the little toes, and obviously we'll be able to position these a little bit better once we actually get them into robot mode, but pretty much there you have his feet. Then come around here, take this little section, you wanna fold this little bit out like so. Take this, fold this back, you can then start getting everything loosened up here. This is actually kind of a bit of a pain because these really fit in here very securely. Fold these out just like so. And then, well, fold these little bits down just to get them out of the way. And then this little bit, this always, I always have kind of a problem with this part. This little section right here has a hard time kind of getting clearance past this. But if you just give it a little tug, it'll come all the way out. And pull that out just like that. Just kind of fold all these little bits out. Take this little section right there. Fold that up just like that. Rotate this entire section down and you'll have the head reveal. Peg that in. Take this section. Push that in. Cover that up. Now come around here to the back. Take this little section. Fold this out. Bring these down. Fold these little bits out on both sides. And they'll fold up behind the back here. Make sure you get the arms all the way extended up. That'll fold back, that'll fold back, and there's actually pegs that are right inside here on this section with little tabs that these line up and just peg those in just like so. Kind of push this in. You can't really push these in too much, but you can get it kind of done. Rotate these arms down, rotate the hands, rotate, 
fold that down, rotate, and again, you can position the legs so that he gets the classic chicken leg look. And here you have Starscream in his robot mode. And again, as I said, a nice representation of him, even in his robot mode. Very cool looking. He's a little bit lighter of a color. He's coming across probably lighter on more of a white color. Oh, and then you kind of just fold that up so it kind of hides it. But he's coming across a little bit more of a white color, I suppose, on my camera than he actually is in person. He's not as dark gray as his leader version, but overall, I really like the way this guy looks. Now, people have kind of complained about the uh, the open nature of his chest, and there's nothing really that you can do about it. You can untab this section, and it holds up there very nicely, but when you untab it, you can actually bring these bits in a little bit more. You can fold that in and fold that in, kind of lift his arms a little bit more, uh, but you can actually kind of bring these in just a little bit, it, it, it doesn't really do too much, like by folding that down, and then you can do that, fold that down, do that. Um, it doesn't really do too much, I don't really think. But now this section on the back here won't tab because now these are misaligned. But like I said, it, at least on mine, it holds up there fairly well, so you can leave it like that if you really desire. Nice paint applications on his face. I do like the way his face looks. Really cool. But again, fairly nice detail all the way through this figure. It's a very nice representation of Starscream. I'm actually really impressed, and this is a deluxe. So very impressive. His articulation-wise, again, still fairly good. Rotates at the head. He's got this ball joint here at the shoulder, but he also kind of has a joint that allows some swivel up here, but then on the outer side is the ball joint. You get a little bit of rotation there. He rotates... Um, back and forth at the elbow, but then has another ball jointed elbow that you can get a lot of posability and <laughs> you can have him scratching his head like, huh, what's going on around here? I, <laughs> I mean, it's it's a very well articulated figure. I'm really pretty impressed. Nothing has, obviously at the waist, uh, ball joint at the upper part of the thigh and then he's got the chicken leg thing. So it bends here, here and uh, rotates. And then you get a little bit of pivot in his foot and not really much i mean it just goes like that but that's part of the transformation but an overall fantastic looking figure i love the way this guy looks now as far as weapons uh they, they can peg on here i mean you got you got ports all over the place uh the whole mech tech gimmick um you can go like this and and you can drop them if, if you really want to you can drop them you don't have to but i mean if you're cool like me you drop them um i don't really like how that looks I really think that that's pretty stupid looking just because of how big these are. I appreciate what they're trying to do with the weapons, but it just doesn't work. And then you can rotate them around and obviously you can have the blade of death thing going on. And then this weapon here, like I said, you can spring it out, but it springs right back, um, which really kind of sucks unless you take this and these actually combined. And now you rotate this out just like so, take this section here and then just, if you plug this in, that actually locks it out. So now you have like this dual bladed thing of death that he can, you can tab in there and now he has that. And uh, that, that just, I, I don't, I, I'm not a big fan of some of these mech tech weapons. Some of them are nice, like I said, some of them are halfway decent, but this, this just kind of screams, the. Uh, terrible in my mind so we're going to set that off to the side now in terms of a size comparison with this guy um yeah that's his leader version and obviously a leader version is going to be bigger so why don't we compare him to another deluxe figure <laughs> here is next to the deluxe class battle blade bumblebee and uh yeah he's uh he's a short guy definitely way too tiny while he is small, I think he's a very nice, like I said, representation of Starscream. And even this version beats the original Voyager class that we got from the first Transformers movie. And for the price, if you can't afford to get the leader class one, this is a fantastic alternative, especially for the price. At the deluxe price point, this guy is going to be pretty cheap and easily affordable to be able to put in your collection. Now to transform him back, fairly simple again, just kind of undo everything that you basically did. Just kind of fold that back, fold this, fold that in just like so. Take these little bits here, fold these out, and you can fold these all the way out now. 
and then fold them back in. Take this section, rotate this all the way back, and his head will hide just like so. Take this section, fold that down, kind of loosen this up, get this out of the way. Rotate these wings down so that you can accordion all this in. And this, this again, this it's a little tricky to kind of get this in there. Uh, and I, I sometimes forget exactly how to do it. But fold that in just like so. Fold this all the way in. You got our accordion. There we go. You basically want to have it where the uh, the tattoos are going to be facing down. And then just rotate everything and then you can kind of get this out of the way. Take this little section here. Fold this all the way down just like that. Then you can just kind of position these. And these don't really lock into place or anything. They just kind of sit there. Which kind of sucks, but oh well. Fold this little bit up. Come around here to the back. Again, just fold the wings out so that they line up with this panel. And then they slot down just like so. Do that on the other side, slot down, there we are, kind of keep that up, fold the legs in, fold out the toes, fold it back, there we are, again keeping the tattoos on the top bit, just like that, line things up, fold out the toe, Rotate that up and around. At this point, you can take the uh, the actual landing gear and you can fold that back down. Kind of gets things out of the way. And then there are two little holes right here with two little tabs there and there that when you fold this back and around, and this is on two joints, so you kind of have to make sure you accordion it properly and then just tab those little bits together like that. Fold out the, I don't even know what you call these wings. Go ahead and reach down here, fold out this landing gear, and here you have Starscream back in his vehicle mode. Again, as I said, a very nice representation of how he looks in the Revenge of the Fallen movie. Obviously not a perfect figure, and for the size of him, he kind of lacks in some areas. But for the price, and the fact that, you know, he is a deluxe, and still retains a lot of the nice features, <laughs> most notably the accuracy of the leader class version, this is a fantastic buy. So until next time, guys, I want to thank you for tuning in. This has been Optimus. I'll talk to you later.